Okay, on the leather today, I have a product from Hide and Drink. This is the bag it was shipped in. It's a pretty damn nice bag. Nice leather attachments. It's kind of shocked. Okay, this. Let's see what all we got in here. All right, full grain leather, wax canvas, a bag, uh, handcrafted in Guatemala. This is the bag itself. This is what came with it. And it has a 101 year guarantee, warranty. This is nice leather, nice snaps. This attaches to your belt. It's a forage bag is what it is. Wax canvas and leather. It's kind of a neat little bag. Opens up to that. That attaches to your belt. So this is what would hang off when it's open and you're out walking around the woods. And it'll hold quite a large amount. Has drawstrings to where you can close it. Close it up and tie it if you need to. Now, I wouldn't consider that much of a necessity unless you're rolling down a hill or something, and then by then it's too late. But you can tell the inside of the bag, it may be hand sewn, but it's hand sewn on a machine. You can just tell by the stitching. But the inside, so it don't fray out, it's actually sewn in with leather. I think all the way, bottom of the bag's not sewn, it's just folded over nice. And the wax, the wax on it is, you can feel it just a little bit, but it's not so much that it's gonna come off on everything you have in your pack. I like, this is gonna be used when I got this in. Folds up out of the way, you can put it on your bat belt basically. It'll stay out of the way along with your other EDC gear. And as you're walking along and find stuff, pop it open, stuff it in there. But this, uh, I've got this off of Amazon, and it was right around thirty-five. I'll have it up. It seemed kind of pricey at first till I got it, and what it is, it's very, very nice. It this is much nicer than I was expecting. Um, I really can't talk bad about it. It's got the leather in. It's really good. The snaps are in. They're secured. They're in nice. They're not all tore up. Any of them. I expect this to last me for quite some time. The only way. The only problems I'd ever see with it is if you hooked it on something and accidentally tore the bag. But that would be more on you than on the actual craftsmanship itself. This is very good craftsmanship. The stitching's very good, even. Leather's pretty, the leather's not super stiff, but it's not glove tan quite either, which is about where you want it for this. Good piece of gear. I recommend it. It's going to make me look at some of their other stuff that they have. It's not totally out of out of price range, but it isn't completely cheap either. But for what it is, it's very good.